everybody. This is Jill and I's prayer garden. It's in a local church, but it's interesting. When we first moved here, we came for a walk over and I discovered this prayer garden. I was totally blown away. You've seen other parts where we pray, specifically, we pray for salvation, very important, muy importante. We pray for the power of the Holy Spirit. We give thanks, we do like a virtual communion. We also take real communion, but we do that here. Um, we take communion regularly. But here, on this bench, by the river, I can hear the river flowing behind me, I'm sure you can. This is where Jill and I pray for our personal needs. We don't just get lost in the doing and the ministry, which is very important. We pray for ourselves, our personal life, our health, provision, our marriage. We pray for people in and around our lives. It's very important to do that. We pray for one another. And it's a good place to pray for your needs. And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. If God will do that, why do we need to ask him? Because Jesus said so. Give us this day our daily bread. Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us as we forgive others. It helps you walk in total salvation. So, here's our encouragement for you today. Don't neglect praying together. If you're single, praying on your own. Praying for God's comfort, praying for your future partner. If you're married, it's so important to pray together. A couple that prays together, stays together. It's very important. So lots of love, we'll catch you with you real soon. Love you.